Hello everyone, hope you are well, hope you are having a fabulous Friday, looking forward to a great weekend. Fall is upon us, kids back at school, and I am trying to get acclimated to my new schedule and routine, so I really haven't had time to make a new video. I did get a new computer, I'm getting that like set up and getting used to my new system. I am using the Quant Tower on one of my large monitors, and I've got Ninja set on the other. I did go live in the Discord today, and I apologize if you guys were on there. My internet went out today. It was a hot mess, so I didn't really get an opportunity to take many trades. Um, I am green on my FTT accounts. As you see here, small day, 250 across my accounts. Here is my P&L on my Ninja, my Take Profit, and my Tick Tick accounts. You know, a little small gains, nothing extravagant, but it is what it is. I had to stop trading. I did get all my targets hit and I had to sit and watch it go without me and that that is always hard. So I'm going to try to continue live streaming on Fridays in the Discord until I get the YouTube set up. I've got to figure out how to do that still. Probably won't look to do that until October and I'm just going to do it on Fridays. You know, I, I typically don't trade my real money accounts on Friday. I just don't like to go into the weekend red and Fridays for whatever reason seems to be the day that I like to be red. So that's a good day for me to live stream. I mean, my trading is more important than streaming. And to be honest, it's very hard to do, you know, to talk about your thoughts and your plan and execute. And I'm executing on two different platforms. It's just very distracting. I do like um, sharing my thoughts and my process, and I really like showing people that micros is really all you need to do to get it done, guys. Someone shared a stat in the FTT Discord the other day that only 7% of the traders there have gotten to pay out. And I'm gonna tell you, it's probably because a large majority of them are trading minis, not micros. They're risking too much and they're not giving themselves enough room to make mistakes. I took on stream today one trade. I lost that trade. I didn't have enough time to move my stop and I was distracted by the stuff going on in my quant tower. So I took a, a hit on my first trade. I was you know, down $100 starting out. Then I took a second trade um, for two micros my runner got stopped out right away. So I added two more on three micros got me to 273 profit and not including that hundred dollar loss I took. So what I'm just trying to say guys is, you know, I know you think, you know, micros might be for babies. It's not the case. Like you're going to make good money. And when you have these bad days where you just don't read the price action well, or you're emotional or, you know, maybe you revenge trade a little bit, like you just mess up and everybody messes up. I mess up a lot, you know, so, but I can recover. You know, I try to limit my loss to no more than two times what my daily goal is. And for most of my accounts, you know, it's like $300 on average. So $600 loss and I'm calling it a day, you know, and um, it's not my day. I'm I'm going to just take that loss and it'll take me one to two days to recover. And some days just are not our day, guys. It's just how it is. That's trading. So I just wanted to uh, start off by saying that I'm trading micros. I see no reason to trade minis. I keep trying to trade minis on these take profit evaluations. I've got three 100k evals I'm trying to get done quickly and I keep busting them because I'm trading too big. So I've gone to micros for that as well. You'll see the profit here is 871 on those. I'm just doubling up the micros on my funded accounts. At any rate, like I said, I've got a lot to talk about in this video, like any woman usually does, guys. We're gonna talk about um, what I've made on YouTube. As you know, I started doing affiliates on August 12th, 11th or 12th, and I'm gonna tell you how much money I've made. I want to talk about some of the polls that I've put up. I am really interested to talk about the results of those. I am going to talk about some prop updates. I got to talk about FTT. I'm going to talk about my funded futures, elite trader, and of course, those Apex. So let's get into the video. All right, so here is my YouTube dashboard. Um, 
you can see my channel has grown up to 3,830 subscribers. This uh, is like your back office on YouTube. I started my channel in March, I think. I was monetized in May and I've just grown pretty steadily since then. Um, I think my first YouTube payout was for around $300. Here you can see my payout for the August month is going to be $237.08. Now, I didn't post as many videos in August. I was away on vacation and, you know, busy. I try to do two to three videos a week. But this is typically, I guess, what you can expect if your channel has got this many subscribers. Now, I don't you do live streams, so I don't generate content that way. I know a lot of people with YouTubes in the trading space are doing live streams those folks are naturally generating a lot of content with their live streams. So they could be doing something totally different. Uh, but I did make that video. I showed you all the tools that I'm using. I just wanted to give a realistic picture of what a YouTuber is like. Now, never in a million years did I ever imagine I would be a YouTuber, but I really enjoy doing it. I appreciate all the content people have put out there to help traders. I'm trying to play it forward and share as much as I can about my journey and how I trade and you know what's been successful for me to help other people if I can. That really is what I want my content to be about. I was the, certainly the first person to start posting about prop scams. And you know with the whole Apex situation going down, I really was the only one who was posting about that. So um, I just wanna say, you know, I see a lot of new YouTubers are making scam prop scam videos. I even see some of the more established ones doing it I think it's been noted that my channel has grown so quickly because there's a huge appetite for that kind of content. And I can totally understand why people would want to share some content like that to help their channels grow. But I think we need to do it responsibly. You know, the content that I'm putting out there is legitimate. You know, these firms that I talk about have bad rules or they're not paying as promised. That is a scam to me. Some of the personal drama going on with, you know, the prop owners, CEOs is not making them a scam. Like if the prop firm is paying and has reasonable rules, that's good enough for me. I'm going to continue trading. But, you know, if there's drama in the discord or they've got personal lawsuits or, you know, recently we had Blue Sky that had, you know, some employees terminate it, whether it was, you know, by choice or not, I don't really know, but you know, the, the employees were disgruntled and spreading like nonsense across Discord. I'm still trading with Blue Sky. I, I really like them. I think they're a good firm. The drama stuff is not important to me. So I just want to say that, you know, always do your own due diligence, whether it's my content or anybody else's. Make sure you're checking, you know, the facts. And the facts are, am I getting paid? And are... Can I get to a payout with reasonable rules? And that, guys, is why I made this sheet that's linked to my website. I have summarized all of the prop firm rules. I'm ranking them. I'm ranking them based on how quickly and easily I can get paid, you know, how reasonable are the rules, and finally, how much is it going to cost me to get an account? And what works for one person might not work for another, so I've just summarized all of them. I like to keep a comparison um, I recently did a poll on the YouTube uh, community page. If, if you're a subscriber, you probably get notified. I do utilize that a lot to post things. And I post a poll and I asked everyone what they felt was the best or the most important qualities of a prop firm. I want to make sure that, you know, what I'm putting out there is aligned to what everybody else kind of thinks. And as you see, payouts are the number one criteria. So that's how I'm ranking prop firms. As far as I know, right now, Take Profit Trader is the fastest paying prop firm. They are well deserving of that number one spot. Um, Blue Sky pays very quickly. Trade Day, I know, pays very quickly. Tick Tick Trader pays pretty quickly. You can request on demand. It takes about a week. I would say roughly around a week to get paid there. Um, Top Step, I know, pays very quickly. But as far as I'm concerned, that's what's important. I've also listed coupon codes on here. I'm letting you know where the best sales are. Um, I Right now I know that Blue Sky has a 55% off sale that ends tonight. Uh, another one that's gonna end tonight is Bielinox. 
they are 87% off till tonight, and then it goes to 83% off. So not a huge difference. Bulinox is another one. It's an underrated firm, guys. They're very like bare bones on their website. They don't really promote a lot, but they pay super quick um, and really just have the consistency rule. The rules are pretty easy. They're super inexpensive. Good choice. So anyway, this is what I'm, I'm doing on my channel is I'm sharing this kind of content and, you know, I'm sharing my personal trading journey. So that's what my YouTube is generally about. And this is what it pays. Now, I started doing affiliates. I want to say it was August 11th when I first promoted affiliate links on my channel. I have made to date 20, about $20,000. Uh, I'm averaging like $4,000 a week in affiliate revenue. The large majority of it is coming from Fast Track. And I think it's because they're running like this half off promo. I I'm sure that that has inflated the affiliate earnings. But guys, I only have 3,800 subscribers and that is the result. I am floored, honestly. I didn't realize it would be so much. Now I am sharing some other affiliate codes on my, on my website. You'll see them on there. You know, I'm sharing Monkey Man's affiliate code for uh, Replicanto on my website. I am trying to still support some of the smaller YouTube channels and I really enjoy his content. So I hope that I'm helping them earn some revenue too because make no bones about it, YouTube is a lot of work. Um, I do feel fortunate to be able to earn that kind of income from affiliates. But, you know, and I'm trying to give back to, you know, I've given out accounts and I tried to purchase some... Uh, tools for the discord community that didn't go too well but you know i'm going to figure it out as we go i definitely want to help other people along the way i feel very fortunate i really appreciate everybody that subscribes everybody that's using my affiliate codes guys I, I really appreciate you i hope that is known i am also trying to give back in other ways you know i give a lot of my time in the community um it's just, it's amazing. And uh, so I wanted to share that and be transparent. I think we all are interested to know what that possibility. So I can't imagine what someone like Trades by Matt is making or Patrick Wheland or even, you know, Alpine's got a lot, a lot of following. So there's those guys are uh, Canadian futures trader. He must be killing it, I'm sure. So amazing things happening. And I feel very fortunate that, you know, we're able to participate and earn revenue from these prop firms. You know, some of that wealth is getting redistributed to his traders. And there's a lot of small YouTubers that are earning money on affiliates. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, I'll keep you posted as it progresses. I'm not able to share specifics because the terms of all those contracts prohibit me from doing that. Um, I would love to do that. But for now, I just wanted to share, I think people might be interested to know. And if you're thinking about doing a YouTube, maybe this is what you can expect. So before I get into these prop updates, I want to shout out some people. I have seen some amazing payouts uh, in my Discord and Fast Tracks Discord. Someone here got $16,000 from Bulinox the other day. That is awesome, guys. Here we got a $1,500 payout from Bulinox. Uh, our, my favorite, my favorite, Benji. I talk about him a lot. He has gotten two $80,000 payouts from Fast Track. He's just submitted for his third. Um, so he's being really consistent, making a ton of money. I love seeing traders make a ton of money. I'm sure they're going to be moving him to live. I know Damn Good Kyle has also gotten some really big payouts lately. So, I mean, and this is what we're here for, right? This is this is the goal. This is what we want to see. It gives us hope. Um, helps us even when we're struggling to know that there is a goal ahead for us. And I'm personally trying to get a bunch of funded accounts and hit those numbers too. It's really good to see. So I wanted to share that. Uh, before I talk about some of the negative things, unfortunately, um, that I need to talk about today. So this is my website, Futures Trading with Kellyanne. Um, I'm on the homepage. You're going to see I've got the prop firm rankings right here. If you click on this doc uh, link right here, it will take you to that other document that has the, all the rules summaries. 
and um, all the specifics, cost, everything that you need to know. But what I want to point to here is my scam alerts. I'm listing the companies that you need to be aware have a scam alert. And to get on this list, you have to have denied a bunch of payouts. Um, you have to have rules that are ridiculously hard for traders to get to payout. I'm, I'm telling you why in that summary if you click here. Uh, but I'm going to update this a lot faster than I make a video. I recommend you just keep an eye on this. I'm letting you know um, if there are some scammy things going on. So what I want to talk about first here is Elite Trader Funding. Elite used to be a favorite firm of mine, but I stopped trading with them a couple of months ago. They changed their rules and they implemented a 23% consistency rule. And that 23% was of your daily profit, not of your total account balance. Um, and that's a big difference. You know, Fast Track has a consistency, a pretty tight one, 20% of your total account balance. That is very manageable. Uh, but when you're talking about 23% of your highest day, that's, that's a whole different ballgame. Um, like say you have a great winning day and you make a good $2,500 that day, you can't get paid unless you have like 20 winning days and a winning day is only counted as 23% of your highest day. That's a big deal. Um, so when they implemented that rule, I just stopped trading with them. Uh, I don't want to call them a scam. As far as I knew, they were paying people. I just don't like the rules and I didn't work for me. But I've been contacted by some folks who have been denied their payouts, had their money deducted from their accounts. They've been moved to live. And this is a problem. Uh, so this is on their website. You can see the link here, Elite Trader Funding Help section. Congratulations on being selected for live. Um if you decline the offer to transition to a live elite account, you have the option to request a full payout of the profits gained from your elite SIM funded. But upon declining the offer, you are entitled to receive 10% of your earnings up to a cap of 12500 total, calculated as of the date of the offer. Any earnings exceeding this amount will be paid out at a rate of no more than 5%. Um, so what this means is if you reach a level where they want to put you to live, you're basically losing your profits and you're kind of starting over in a live trading account. And you, again, you're, you got all these rules that are kind of prevent you from getting to payout. So it's, it's not good guys. I just wanted to make sure people know I didn't put them on the scam list. Um, I don't, I don't know that I would consider them a scam, but I don't think their rules are favorable for traders. They're expensive, the accounts, and I wouldn't personally trade with them. So I wanted to make sure people are aware of what could happen. Um, nothing worse than building up an account, hoping to get paid and find out you're gonna lose some of your profits. Um, that's not good. And I wanna make sure everybody is aware of this. Uh, the next one I wanna talk about is My Funded Futures. Now I made a video about this a little while ago. I only know of one person who has experienced this. There are a bunch of my funded futures traders in the Discord who are getting paid with no problems, getting paid quickly, uh, but they don't like micro scalping. They do have a lot of terms in their um, facts section about you know what a micro scalper is. It's kind of ambiguous. It's not really clear. Um, they don't like scalps or you know based on time. I think it was 15 seconds in a trade or so many points, but they really weren't firm on the guidelines. And one of the traders in my Discord community was denied a payout. And when he was denied a payout, they withdrew the funds from his account. So he lost his profits. And then he was denied a second time. And the second time he made sure that he adhered to those guidelines, 15 seconds and, you know, uh, five points. And I've seen his stats. He did do that. And he's reached out to support multiple times, not getting a response, just radio silence. And I think at this point, he's just given up and filed chargebacks. So I do want to let you know, I think my funded futures is a good prop, but not if you are a scalper. And uh, I think, you know, if you're swing trading intraday, you're good to go here. But if you're scalping, you want to be really mindful of the rules so that you don't run into those kinds of issues. 
So moving on to Apex, guys, as you see, my scam warning list, I've got Apex listed at number one here. I think they are the scammiest prop out there. So many traders have been denied. But I will say lately I've noticed more people getting approved. Um, certainly some people in the Discord are getting approved. And it seemed like the approvals were coming a little faster. But there's still problems. People are still getting denied. I see it in the YouTube comments. If you're watching my videos, you're seeing it too. Now, I also see a lot of people saying, you know, I was one of those people that said, hey, if you follow the rules, you'll get paid, blah, blah, blah. But now I've been denied or I've been requested videos too. So I think everybody's turn will come. And I, and I get it. Like if you are an Apex trader and you've not had an issue yet, you don't really see what the problem is maybe from your perspective. But I think, you know, it shows a lack of empathy when you come in and you see all these people getting denied and you just don't care, you know. So I don't feel that way. I want to see everybody getting paid as they're deserving. It's very hard to get to pay out. It's really hard to get to pay out on an account that counts intraday unrealized gains against you. So I, I don't like seeing it. I mean, and that's really why I started talking about Apex to begin with. I know they say they have some new rules coming out and some they're making some changes. And someone did ask me to make a video about that, but they haven't made those changes yet. So I'm not gonna even waste my time. But you hear me talk about Benji a lot in the Discord. He's the trader who's gotten the ADK payouts from Fast Track. And he did share an experience he had here and I wanted to share it. Um, he said Apex stole another 50K from him. He had 50K in equity between two accounts. They were denying the payouts and would not respond to his emails. Then they did approve one of the accounts that he had and they denied the other one. And oddly, he was taking the same trades on each account. So um, when he pointed that out to them, they actually revoked that approval and denied him both. So he hasn't been paid out. He's done with them. He, did, he is not a DCA in trader. Um, I think DCA is just a scam rule anyway. It's just a rule that they can use to deny paying you. Um, I am seeing a lot of the posts where they're making these like big $1 million payouts. I, I mean, I hope that's true, but I really don't believe it. Um, I think it's a marketing gimmick, you know, and I think certainly they've had opportunities to turn it around and they've chosen not to. So Benji here is going to file a fraud complaint. Um, I hope he did file for chargebacks. He has been scammed, in my opinion, and is deserving of having his money returned to him. Uh, and he did give me permission to share this and encourages anybody else that has had that experience to file fraud complaints. Guys, this is Zero Day J. I have been hanging out on his stream. After hours, he starts streaming. I think he streams overnight. He is hilarious, guys. I, you will find me in here. A lot of times you're going to find Alpine, Nutty, Methodical Man. We all hang out in Jay's stream after hours. Late afternoon trading. He is hilarious. I don't really understand what his trading strategy is, but he is super fun to watch. I'm up. I'm up 40 bucks, 80, 100, 150. Get in or do I just let it fucking keep going? This is why I don't like to, I don't like to fucking let it keep going because I get fucked so many times. Watch me get fucked here. Here it comes, here comes the fucking, maybe not. Maybe I get lucky here. I should have taken 150 or whatever this was, 120. I think it went up as much as 150. Just keep fucking going for me. Do it for the stream. Let's do it for the stream, baby. Hit In the stream over there at Chase the other day and he was calling on me to make a video about FTT and what was going on with the banking situation over there. Um, Nutty was also calling on me to make a video. Honestly, I was already starting to work on it. I just hadn't had time to put it together. So let's talk about FTT and all the stuff that's been going on recently. Now, I'm not going to repeat all the drama that's already been kind of posted out there already. You know, I'm just going to touch on some of the things that I think are important. I'm going to start with the banking situation. Um, from my understanding, last week, a gentleman had purchased some accounts that were not provisioned quickly enough for him and like a day or two and he went over to Scott's house. So that obviously is a scary situation. He has a family and children to worry about and has had to hire armed guards. He uh, did respond very aggressively in the discord and basically shared this situation and this gentleman's name and address. 
Um, doxing a customer is not acceptable. Going to a CEO's house because your accounts are not provisioned fast enough is not acceptable. Uh, this person apparently made a post on Trustpilot talking about he's a 67 year old lawyer and uh, this was a ridiculous situation, honestly. Um, for some reason, it seems that they thought our buddy Wepf ha was this person that went to Scott's house and uh, that he was doxxed. It was not him. He was not doxxed. That was just a case of mistaken identity. And Wepf has made this post just to clear that up. I don't want anybody out there thinking he got doxxed. Um, but it was scary, I'm sure, for Scott's wife, you know, to have a customer, a belligerent customer coming to your home. Like that, that is crazy, guys. Um, this person also did so file some kind of like complaints or chargebacks on the bank account. And FTT let us know that, you know, they had to halt payouts because their bank was temporarily frozen. Scott is great about going into the Discord live and giving the community updates. You know, he's very transparent, probably a little too transparent, honestly, because, you know, I get why he wants to be forthcoming with the community and let them know what's happening internally. You know, sometimes it might cause a little bit of panic. I don't think the accounts being briefly halted because of this issue is, is really a big deal, to be honest. I was able to get paid out that day. I don't think it really interfered with too much, but... I've never seen a CEO give real-time updates on every aspect of a startup company before. You know, Fast Track is innovative, coming into the space with no evaluations and just an aggressive model. You know, they are actively trying to build a hedge fund and take traders to live. I'm very interested in that. I've got five FTT accounts. I'm working hard. I definitely want to get invited to live. I'm aware of everything that's been going on. I've seen the videos. I'm in the Discord a lot. I'm not concerned, really. You know, from my perspective is, I've got five accounts. I'm making money. I've gotten a payout on one account. I'm waiting on my payout for my second account. They're paying as promised. My payments were approved right away. I don't see anybody getting denied a payout at all at Fast Track. So they're honoring their commitments to the customers. I'm not concerned about that. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a startup. Any business could fail. I mean, for those of you out there worried about, oh my gosh, is this so, so and so going to fail? Any prop firm can fail at any given time. This is why I encourage everyone to diversify your prop holdings and to manage your risk. You know, if it costs you $200 for an evaluation, treat it like you would any trade. You're risking $200 to make however much you want to make. And you understand that you could lose your $200. I mean, that should apply to any any company, including Fast Track, you know, Apex, whatever company you're, you're trading with. Um, so that was one thing I wanted to talk about. And then they did make an announcement today about another banking issue is, you know, they have grown tremendously since they're, you know, started very quickly. I'm sure they're growing at a pace faster than they're equipped to handle, honestly. And they've outgrown their bank. So they did make an announcement today that they are in the process of converting and transferring everything over to Chase Bank, which is a larger bank and will better support the needs of their customers, hopefully getting our payouts done faster. You know, they've recently onboarded Rise, so we can visibly see the changes happening here in real time. We can see that they're working on processes to, you know, support their customer base, their growing customer base. I haven't gotten my payout on Rise. My first payout came from Mercury. My second payout, as you see, I just got approved for and they sent it to Rise. I'm waiting to uh, get that update. Now, I requested this payout on the 22nd of August. So I'm two weeks out and I've gotten approved and my money obviously was sent to Rise. As you see here, I have not received that yet. I'm expecting I should probably see that on Monday or Tuesday. But, you know, the facts say five days for payout, but I think realistically they're like 12 to 15 days on average is what I'm saying. Now, I don't work there. I don't know what the statistics are. I don't know anything about the inner workings. Nobody is sharing anything internally with me. This is just my, you know, observations and assessment. Um, so plan for like 12 to 15 days for right now until they get everything kind of ironed out. I think that's a realistic expectation. I'd love to see them update their website to just be more practical about that. 
I think it would alleviate a lot of the anxiety. I see a lot of traders here posting about, you know, their payouts are not received yet. It's been like 24 hours. How soon will I, get, you know, get approval and all that kind of stuff? You know, traders get nervous when they have to wait for their payouts. And that's that's why I rank the prop firms like I do. You know, the fastest payout is going to be the number one prop for me. Uh, but I do think Fast Track will improve in these areas. I see that they're making strides in that direction. They're certainly being transparent with us. It's not like, you know, people aren't getting paid out fast and we don't know why. They are telling us, you know, they're telling us that they're scaled out so fast that, you know, they're catching up. They're, they're, they're catching up from behind. I can see all the people that have been hired in the Fast Track Discord. They are growing and trying to support us as best as they can. You know, it's a startup environment, guys. Be practical with your expectations. What I don't see is anybody getting denied. Nobody is getting denied payouts if they earned it. So that's a great thing. That's what I want to see. I'm confident I'm going to get paid out. I'm confident everyone is going to get paid out. And then I saw a video posted by a gentleman named Chunky Trades. He was talking about a couple of traders that were still waiting on payouts from August 7th. Um, I do know that those pay traders have been paid. Uh, I mean, they were just odd situations. One's payout was sent to the wrong bank, I think. Um, I forget what the other one was, but they were just anomalies. And unfortunately, the customer service at Fast Track is really backed up, you know, and these traders were having some difficulties getting their, you know, their payouts completed because of those specific issues. So I know that Corey over at Fast Track did find out about it yesterday and took care of it. And those traders have gotten paid. So that that is great news. I'm really happy to hear that. The other thing I think has been problematic over there is the affiliates. You know, the affiliates have not been prioritized for payouts, it seems. I know they started to pay out some affiliates this week. I personally got paid out as an affiliate. So that's happening. Um, but there was a lot of frustration. And most of the things that I see in the Discord are from affiliates who are annoyed that they're not paid yet. Um, hopefully they implement some kind of process that makes that a little more efficient. Efficient. Um, it would be nice to see the affiliates getting paid on time for sure. I'm sure they would appreciate that. You know, they're out there promoting FTT. They're helping them grow and they should be paid on time. I, I definitely feel for the affiliates and I hope that that improves and I do hope to see all the affiliates getting paid but I want to talk about Jake from State Farm here um, Jake was really irritated about not getting his payout and uh, he decided to uh, make a post and take one for the team I guess I want my two dollars Jake wrote hello Scott there will be 20 reviews like this coming soon if you don't pay for our affiliate of course, we'll remove it if you pay. I have a huge community. Bitch, better have my money. Play down, call me on my blood. Pay me what you want me. Well, Scott did not respond well to that threat. Let me tell you, in true Italian fashion, here he comes Motherfucker. with this response. I like Scott. I think he's a nice guy. I can see how deeply he cares about his company. I can see how... He supports his team and defends his team. You know, he does not tolerate any kind of shenanigans in his discord. If you are disrespectful to his team, I have been timed out in that discord a couple times. You know, comments I made were mistakenly deemed aggressive to his staff and not meant that way, you know, and I've been timed out. So, you know, I think people think that I have some kind of, you know, influence there and I don't I don't guys I'm not I'm just a trader like everybody else um I got timed out just fine like everybody else another thing I saw today was you know Scott made a post about there were some rhythmic issues today and he's very like I said very transparent rhythmic sucks I know it you know it we're doing everything humanly possible to get other options right now we're in a holding pattern you know we're going to do everything necessary to make things right you know, reset accounts, credit your account, refunds if you need them. They're going to take accountability. You know, listen, here's the thing. You know, just because you're a CEO doesn't mean you're not a regular person. You know, we all have our personalities, right? You're Italian, right? And, you know, Scott's an Italian. He's got that Italian personality going on. I don't know, you know. What are you, Italian? If you're Italian, you know what I mean. You know, um, 
And uh, that's that's kind of what we're dealing with. But I don't think that FTT is a scam. I think they're just growing. I'm excited to see what they do. I do hope to see improvements on the payout process. I do hope to see the affiliates get paid. I definitely think that's a problem. Um, I like to see the accounts get provisioned faster. I can tell you my accounts were provisioned very fast because I followed the directions and I put the order number in my payment. If you do that, your accounts get provisioned automatically, you know, but if you just send a payment, they don't know what to attach it to, you're gonna end up waiting. So pay attention guys, follow the rules, stop clogging up the discord with a bunch of nonsense. Like, come on now. So that's my thoughts on fast track. At this point, you know, I don't think there's a scam. I'm gonna continue trading my accounts. I am gonna wait and see how things progress. I, I will get a little concerned if I don't see some improvements, you know, in payout times and affiliate payouts, you know, toning down that uh, Discord a little bit. I definitely think that could use some improvement, but I do think they're working on it. And I do think they're an interesting company. I have high hopes for them. I am still very eager to get to a live account and I continue to trade my accounts until I get to a point, like I said, where my buddy Ben, Ben G is getting 80K payouts every, um, you know, 10 days essentially. So I'm not too worried. Um, I'm watching, I'm op optimistic and I, I mean, I hope they, they do great things. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for this video. In the video description, you will find links to my website. On my website, you will find all of the current prop rankings, the scam warning list. You will find access to all of my free resources, my indicator library, my templates, my specific strategy rules, um, all of the forms. There is a link here to contact me if you have been scammed so we can report on that and let the community know. I also have a link here to some of my most popular videos as well as down here I've got links to my entire uh, you know trading desk everything that's on my trading desk I have listed here for those of you who are interested in knowing what I'm using that is where you will find it so that's all I've got today I will see you in the next video bye